everyone. Heather Mahalik here with another Tip Tuesday. I want to share with you some features we built into Physical Analyzer version 7.57 to provide additional parsing on Snapchat for iOS and Android. Um, you're going to be seeing entries without attachments, which is going to mean that the Snap content was not stored on the device during the extraction, so keep that in mind. Um, you're going to see Snap's link to locations, um, where the snap was taken with a timestamp, memories, my iOS only, and so on. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to zoom in up top and you're going to see here under analyze data, there's a lot of places you can look for information. So I'm simply going to type snap. And the reason I'm recommending this is we may change locations where data models are being stored. So the easiest way to find it all is going to be listed here. So here we could see Snapchat contacts under locations. We have different locations and you can see that there was a photo and we could see the owner of the photo, the upload date, modified date, the participants. You're going to get that information. Again, if you right click, you can always do retrieve address if you're trying to find that information. Under messages, same thing. You can go through and you can review the messages. Remember, if you find that there's not an attachment linked to it, it's because it was not stored on the device at the time of acquisition. But if the attachments were stored there, you would see them. So here's a good example of where you're not seeing that information. Under uploads, you can also see here that we have snaps that were shared. So as we scroll down, we have more information, we have pictures of air tags and so on. So make sure you are filtering again, I would say filter on snap so you don't overlook a location where additional evidence may be located. Oh.